A special discussion is to be held next week on the supply of fuel to ensure the continuous supply of power. We hope to discuss this again with the Ceylon Petroleum Corporation tomorrow on providing fuel until the 22nd. The debt of 80 or 90 billion, which Gaman Pillar was referring to, was not created under our government. If the CPC doesn't give us fuel until the 22nd, we will have to decide what we can do. The Ceylon Petroleum Corporation said it had provided diesel to the Ceylon Electricity Board as it was an emergency requirement. The CPC says that the duration of power cuts can be extended if the CEB doesn't provide an immediate solution. The United Trade Union Federation says the government has to incur high demerage costs for not unloading fuel consignments upon reaching the country. The generation of hydropower has dropped by more than 20%. More than 60% of power is being generated through diesel-powered plants. Therefore, we will be left in darkness. In the coming weeks, the power cuts won't last just for a couple of hours, but for most of the day. We won't be able to prevent about 50% of the factories from closing. The Ceylon Petroleum Corporation chairman Sumit Vijay Singh told News First that the fuel on two tankers would be unloaded after making the payments and that payments will be made for the other two consignments.